the top 10 things to do to get your home ready for the real estate market. Hey everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and I wanted you to be prepared to get your home on the market and get top dollar. And the best time to prepare your home is before it's on the marketplace. So as we reach the spring marketplace, I want you to be prepared. So here are the top 10 things to do to prepare your home for the real estate market. Number one, declutter. Start throwing out, donating everything that you don't use. If you currently live in your house, you're going to continue to live in your house while it's on the market, but we want it the least amount as possible in the house. So start boxing things up. You're going to need to do that anyways when you move. Don't go crazy, but do as much as you can. So start decluttering now. So donate, throw away, or keep. Really three buckets. So start doing that now. Number two, depersonalize your house. Depersonalize. That means Family photos, family heirlooms, um, anything pr uh, private or valuable, you want to start putting those away in the safe locations. But anything on the walls, really, personal artwork that's very specific to you, um, we want to make a blank slate of your home. We want the buyer to imagine themselves in your house. So if there's very, anything very specific to you that may be different from other people, take it down. When in doubt, just, just take it down. Now, as you're taking down photos, you might replace the photos with artwork so you don't have to patch the walls. But if you take it down and there's something to patch, definitely start patching up the, the, the nail holes. We don't want a lot of nail holes in the house. So depersonalize. Number three is spring cleanup. Specifically, yard cleanup. Most specifically, the front yard. First impressions are everything. It's the law of primacy. It's the first impression the buyer's going to have of your home is the front of the home. In fact, it's even more powerful than that. The first photo online, and 94% of buyers search for homes online, the first photo online has to be the front photo. People don't realize this, but the primary photo has to be the front of your house. So we want to make the front of the house the most beautiful, attractive we possibly can. So what can we do? We can clean up the beds around the front. We can take out some bushes. Maybe we take down a tree. I mean, I just had Paul Bunyan tree services over to my house and they took down 10 trees. So very inexpensive way to really transform your life. Pruning, raking, mowing, even though the irrigation water may not be on right now, it's definitely something we want to pay attention to. You don't have to wait till the grass is green to get top dollar. You just need to clean it up. Just need to clean it up. If you need any references, reach out to me. Front door, paint the front door is a huge one that you can work on. Take down shakes or uh, Christmas lighting, anything in the front. You just go to, go to the sidewalk and look at your house and think about what can I remove? What can I remove? So that's number three is spring cleanup. Number four, cleaning. Specifically, clean the windows. Lighting matters. In fact, I'm shooting this video right now. I got lighting, right? We want natural lighting. So open up the blinds, open up the windows and get them clean. You could have a professional do it or you can do it yourself. Uh, you can buy all the professional equipment at, at Lowe's Home Depot for under $60 and you can have beautiful clean windows. So clean the windows and the blinds, right? Um, next is clean the interior. Number five, clean the interior of your house. And so the interior house is the start where start through the, the homes, the, the buyer's journey, right? So start in the front door and work your way through the house. That's where you're going to clean in that order. You can, should you clean the carpets? Yes. Should you clean the interior of your closets? Yes. Should you clean? Yes. Clean everything, baseboards, trim, you name it, wipe it all down. Microfiber cloths is a pro tip, right? Go to Costco buy the big 20 pack of yellow microfibers, buy two of them, right? Have a clean pile and a dirty pile and just get to work with some spray bottles, whatever you need, start, start cleaning the interior. Number six, new linens, new linens, new bedroom linens. So duvet covers, sheets, pillowcases, new linens throughout the house. That's what we want to do. In fact, go to, go to a Marshall's, go to Target, buy some pillows, 
get the new pillows on the couches. You know, this is what stagers do. You know, you want to know the $10,000 tip for, to avoid paying that for a stager. You just go buy the little things, right? Little pillows, throw pillows, new linens, do that. Huge difference. Number seven, are we on seven? Is, uh, is bathroom linens, bathroom towels, right? Bathroom soap dispensers, right? A little fake plant maybe, right? So we want to decorate the bathroom. And then, cause you've already decluttered, take down all your uh, toiletries that are, are not that attractive. Take those down, box them up, put them away when you're not using them. Cause when you have a showing, I want you to have those linens up, those beautiful white linens or gray linens that looks fluffy and inviting. It's almost like you're going to a hotel, right? I want it to really pop. Like, I feel like we just had the, the housekeeping just went through the house and got it all ready. You know, and the toilet papers folded in a little triangle. So that's, those are bathroom linens. Number eight, number eight. I want you to make two sets of keys, two sets of keys. Because when you put your home on the market at the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, we're gonna put a key box on your front door, an electronic key box that only real estate agents can access. And we're members of two multiple listing services, the Northwest and the North Central Washington MLS. Each one has a separate lockbox. So we're going to put keys to the front door in this lockbox that only real estate agents can access. When they access it, they're going to give me a notification that your home has been shown. I then can follow up with that agent and see how that showing went and if they're going to be making an offer. I can also influence them into making an offer and getting a bidding war getting a lot of activity. So people want to pay you more, pay more money for your house. Not only that is I security wise, I can tell who was the last person in your house. So make two sets of keys. If you have exterior sheds or shops or garages that is valuable to the buyer to look at, put, have a set of key for me there. Either you put it in there or we hold it aside if they on a second showing. So two sets of keys. Number nine, find your payoff. Go on your mortgage uh, website or find your last statement. I would love to take a look at that statement. Here's why. I want to run the numbers for you. So I, we're going to do a market analysis and tell you what your home's worth. And we're going to break down all the fees and use that mortgage payoff statement so you know how much equity you have in your home. So you know how much money you're going to be using to purchase your next home or paying down another debt or how much money you have to you know, send your kid to college or retire off of or how much money you have to um, start a business or donate to a nonprofit. So find your payoff statement for me. And final is have me come over or my team come over and give you a market analysis or a value on your home, what we can sell your home for in today's market using our marketing. So get all this stuff ready. Or even if you want us to come over and tell you what to do, and what not to do, we're going to come over how to maximize the value of your home. And we're going to give you a number and we're going to break it down. So I hope this was helpful. This is the top 10 things to do to get your home on the market or ready for the marketplace. If you're seeing this on YouTube, like, subscribe, subscribe. We're going to be putting out a lot more content. We're also putting this video on our blog at nickmcclainrealestate.com. You can find these videos on our blog or content on market updates on our blog. You could also sign up for our newsletter. So just respond to this and sign up for your newsletter. Support us, support these videos, share them with your friends, share them with your family, share them with people you know that are thinking about buying or thinking about selling because there's lots of tips that you're gonna really are gonna save you tens of thousands of dollars or they're gonna make you tens of thousands of dollars because we want you to be successful. We want to improve the quality of your life. It's our mission to improve the quality of life of the people in our communities.